Hey, what's up guys? Warlock here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have another Apex Legends video for you. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make better decisions in Apex Legends. Let's do it. If you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to drop a like. And if you are new here and you want to learn how to improve your gameplay, get better aim and other Apex Legends tips, start now by clicking that subscribe button and turning on the bell so you guys don't miss out on anything. Now let's get into the gameplay. All right, guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to teach you how to make better decisions in Apex Legends. So in today's gameplay, we're going to do some duos. Uh, we're on World's Edge, but I'm going to take you through my entire thought process and everything that I'm thinking while I'm playing the game. You know, I have myself muted to my teammates, but I think I'm going to do just fine without that. I highly recommend if you have a mic to always use a mic and try to talk to your teammates. The majority of the time, they're going to be able to hear you anyway. So, but I'm going to take you through my thought process through this entire gameplay, and hopefully we get a win. All right, guys, so I'm the jump master, and one of the things that you want to do is look at the flight path. This is also going to apply to not only Puzz, but to Ranked as well. A good thing for this is you're just going to be able to see where teams go and try to keep a like a mental block of where these teams are going and what they're going to be doing. So I want to take my team hot this time. You see the flight path. A lot of teams are probably going to always land on the short side so they don't have to travel so far. But at least when you're looking, you kind of get an idea of where teams are going. So... We're gonna we're gonna drop high and we're gonna go over here real quick and maybe we'll get it looks like we got one team coming with us now remember whenever you're falling guys even if you're the flight master you know i normally i like to have my teammates look around and see where enemies are going but sometimes you can fly too so we have one team with us so i'm gonna try to Good scan. Oh my god, dude. Where's my team? Dude, he is one shot, man. It's popping all to use as running. That's really good. It's not a bad strategy at all. I think he's going to go down and try to res me at the village. Which is really nice. A great thing here is to showcase how to use... Bloodhound's ultimate in a utility way because of the speed boost that Bl uh, Bloodhound gets from the ultimate it's a good way to be able to escape you know a combat but now there's another team that came out that's probably one of the things that World's Edge is lacking compared to other maps like Olympus even though World's Edge is bigger than king's canyon the fact is like now that we've landed there there's going to be almost no places that have loot except for at the bottom of the map which is going to make it really tough when he does res me so that's going to make that tough which is a struggle but i think it'll be okay one thing when you're flying it because the team is shooting at you you're going to want to make sure that they're not following even though he's going to res me here they may be following, but it does not look like they're riding the thing. They may as soon as he reses me, but we'll see. Now, as a teammate, what you want to try to do here is you want to try to look where he was being shot from. And you want to make sure that that team is not, you know, trying to zip across or take that redeploy to you. Even when you're falling down, you want to look. Take that bowl. Very nice. Great team right there. He opened up everything, allowed me to get some stuff. Yep. And now we're rolling. So now, now the priority is to get me some loot. Especially since the other team just flew in on us. We want to make sure that we can get up out of here and get some loot. Because that team is going to be thirsty. Let's display here. Another team just flew in. Got company out so there. we're going to have to go this way. There's some armor over there. I may make the play to go grab armor. Oh, and there's an R99 with huge... Not really sure if he was shooting at me or not. So what we're doing is we're doing a wide rotation, guys, to be able to, you know, get to a safe spot. Just kind of third party, reassess the situation. I, I heard that team that flew in 
and they landed up top here so so now we're gonna rotate we're still a little low on loot so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rotate out guys we don't have a lot of loot we're just gonna rotate we have zones coming in we're gonna try to get in zone and hopefully a lot of the spots over here haven't been looted but because this is such a hot drop i highly doubt it like most of these spots over here are always hit um so yeah a lot of times when you're running through stuff like this you sometimes you want to be able to i'm okay you want to check everything but sometimes the, the most you're going to find is like ammo or leftover guns and stuff like that but there's nothing here so really what you can do is you can just run through this and just check see look now this one this one's unhit which is really nice get some shields i just need some light ammo perfect another nine shields another throwable which is great come down here yeah r3 helmet more heals i'm not sure what my teammate what my team needs my teammate needs i just got shot at though which i believe these guys are over here somewhere So what we're going to do is we're going to try to rotate and figure out where we just got shot from. Because now we have some stuff so we can actually fight. We want to be able to push up on this spot and just fight. We're going to come into third party now since we have some loot. This is huge. I really want to get into this fight. So what we're going to do is we're just going to we're just going to try to get over there as fast as we can while just grabbing some extra stuff. Got a live one out there. Now, one thing you can do if you can loot fast is come up and grab a hit this stuff on the bag. Oh, they're below us. Tango spotted. Danger close. So we cracked Octane. He's got red. Help my teammate out. Now we're going to push up and try to cover. Yeah, I peeked him, cracked him completely, and now he's dead, dude. We triple peeked him, grab his red. Look at that, and now we're back in the fight. We just got a huge upgrade of stuff, which is amazing. We're going to swap this over and put that here. Okay, you just want to grab stuff as fast as you can. You don't want to spend a whole lot of time doing this, guys. Looting, although we have bags, because we want to be able to get back into the action. All right. But we are going to check every bag real quick, just to see if there's small upgrades that we can get. Like this right here, small upgrades. Do this. We got med kits. Make sure you have batteries and we out. Saw someone out there. Stay focused. Ooh. Oh, team up here. And now we got two teams. I'm trying to destroy. Yes. I'm trying to destroy the ultimate. Now I'm going to help my teammate and focus this other team. But we need to be mindful of the zone. I'm not sure where the other guys are at. I think my teammate's just chasing. Try to stay with my teammate. It is zone two, but I don't want to... Rotate this way. We're going to try to get in on this. Hit this med kit.
I need a scan from him would be good. Knocked one. Trying to heal in the zone. Knocked her. One of them's got self res. Uh, normally I would take that. But I think I'm going to do okay with what I have here. I got four med kits. I think I'm just going to be able to heal out of the zone. So we're just going to have to move and go with what we got. A lot of times I don't definitely don't advise... You know, staying in the zone for too much, but thank God to respawn that they changed the damage amounts on z all every zone, especially zone two. If you guys don't remember zone two, you couldn't even get a med kit off if you were um, being revived. But now you can, you have a, enough time, just barely enough time to hit a syringe after being revived, which is really nice because otherwise you would be stuck. And the only way that you would be able to make it is if you had a gold bag. A gold backpack to pick somebody up. So we're just going to try to get out of the zone. Now, whenever you're coming out of the zone, you don't want to heal right away, especially in the open, guys. You just want to make sure and look around, make sure there's no teams. But also analyze how many teams are left. There's only three total teams. That's two others besides us. So we should be safe here. Now we want to get into the zone and try to... Look at your map and figure out, well, where would teams be if we rotated out of here? They got to be either inside sorting or they got to be over at uh, Harvester. And typically, you're always going to want to look for the high ground. That's typically where teams are going to be at is on the high ground or inside of a building, especially if they have caustic. So a good way to just kind of look is to get on a roof and take a peek. So my first thoughts is that a team would be up here, and then a area. team would be somewhere in Harvester. Let's reposition here. I hear something down here. Oh, okay, there's a rampart ultimate here. Okay, or thing. Improves handling speed. Okay, they could be sitting up Let's here. We just want to peek. We want to be aggressive with our movements and be able to identify like where teams are going to be. Now, because there's only two other teams plus us on this zone, which is actually pretty large, we're just going to center. And sometimes baiting players to shoot at you is a really good idea. Either that or you're going to try to listen for gunshots if they end up fighting. Okay, so we identified one. One of the things about this is you got to be careful because if you're the team that is fighting, a lot of times you're going to be the team that gets third party. Just one clipped her. Reload. He fell. one squad left. It's going to get loud. Oh, he's on top. Oh, boy. We got to hit this battery. Oh no. And then boom, baby. GG's, guys. So in that situation, sorry guys, what, what I was trying to say is, is that sometimes when you, you catch the other enemy and you start fighting, the third party team is gonna come in. Luckily, that all happened at the same time and we were able to identify where teams were and what they were doing. So as you saw there, I tried to heal as soon as my stuff was cracked and we ended up securing the win, man. My teammate lasted just long enough for us to get the dub, which is really nice. Okay. So I hope that making some of them better decisions that you guys saw in the video today is going to help you guys out. I really hope it does. I know I didn't get a chance to break down a lot of different information that I wanted to do, but we're going to do some more of these on how to make better decisions in Apex Legends. But I hope in, in that gameplay that you guys got to see some good things especially when you're being knocked and you're out of the fight and just kind of seeing what your teammates doing and 
then once you're back in making the smarter decisions to get back into the fight a lot of times players are just going to go back in and you know just get killed but rotating out getting some loot and then getting back into the fight and third parting is really nice so i hope you guys learned a lot we're going to do some more of these uh videos for this series to help you guys make better decisions in apex legends if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like and if you're new here consider subscribing i really do appreciate it and as always stay gaming and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace